guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2017 GMC Sierra. This one is a 1500 SLT with the Z71 package. This also is a four-wheel drive truck. As you can see outside, this one is finished off in a summit white exterior, which looks great on the vehicle, a nice clean color. Outside you can see your Z71 and 4x4 badging. Sierra down below, and this one does have running boards installed. Chrome door handles, chrome trim around the windows, and your chrome mirrors. This one also does have blind spot mirrors and your turn signal indicators built in. And outside, this is just a great looking truck, and this one is in fantastic shape. You can see this is an extended cab model as well. You have your tinted rear privacy glass. Around the rear, chrome bumper, rear parking sensors, as well as a rear backup camera. And you have your steps right here to access the bed which does have a liner installed. It is a plastic liner. In the rear two, your Sierra and SLT badges. And trailer hitch down below. Coming up to the passenger side, this one is riding on Goodyear Wrangler SRA tires. They are P275 55R20, so 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels for your disc brakes. And underneath two, this being a local southern truck, this one's in great shape. No rust or anything like that. And it's nice too being down here in the south that this actually is a four-wheel drive model. The last two of these we've had were both two-wheel drive. And up front you can see your projector, HID headlights, LED daytime running lights, and front parking sensors, as well as fog lights. Coming to the key, lock, unlock, panic. And then this one also is equipped with remote start, just press and hold. And just like that, it will start up. Your running lights will cut on. Go ahead and get in this one. And stepping inside, this one does have the cashmere and cocoa leather interior, which looks fantastic. You have the beige leather on the seats and then the brown accenting on the doors, as well as your stitching around here. This one also is equipped with the Bose audio system. And to start, just insert the key. Close the door. And inside, first thing I'll show in this video is this one does include the original window sticker. As you can see, 2017 Sierra 1500 four wheel drive. You have all of your options around here you can pause and read. So the original base price was $45,480. This one does have the SLT preferred package, the double cab premium package. You can see it gives you all of those options. As well as over here it does have the Z71 package for a total price brand new of $51,000. The actual total sticker price was about $52. So anyway, go ahead and put that in the glove box. So it can be included when this vehicle is sold. Right there. Inside though, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel and it's the same cocoa leather that matches everything else inside. You have your controls on this side for that display, as well as your cruise control on this side, heated steering wheel and forward collision warning. Your audio controls are on the back of the wheel. This nice and light power steering. Shifter over here for the automatic. This one is a six speed automatic. Way down for low gear control by right there. You have your tow mode as well. Reverse. This one does have a rear backup camera as I said. On the door it's all soft padded material over here. Padding around here and then your padded stitched leather. Wood grain. All of your power windows, power locks, power mirrors are over here. Your headlight controls which are automatic. And then you do have your fog lights as well just press. Four wheel drive controls and your trailer brake controls. The dashboard is all padded stitched leather all the way across. It looks fantastic. In the middle, you have your gauges, tachometer, your battery voltometer, engine temperature, fuel gauge, and then oil pressure, speedometer, and then the display in the middle, as I said, you can control from right here. You can go through all kinds of different settings, things like that. Distance to empty and everything else. Digital speed readout and your hazards too. Typical GM fashion are on the steering column. Your GMC and Telelink system, it's very simple to use. Go to audio. This one does have satellite radio, which sounds fantastic.
AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, Bluetooth, satellite radio, of course. It's all very, very simple to use. Go back to the home screen. You have your phone, projection, navigation. A lot of these are different apps that will work once you have a Bluetooth phone connected. This one is equipped with navigation. Like I said, CD player. Below there, dual zone automatic climate control for the driver and passenger. Fan speed in the middle, different zones, and then your zone for the driver and passenger. And I love this design where the temperature actually shows up on the dial and it also will show up on the display. Over here are your heated as well as cooled seats for the driver and passenger. In typical GM fashion, the heated seat, you can have it just the back or the uh, bottom and the backrest. And then cooled seats as well, which are the best feature. In the middle, two power outlets, and then you have two more power outlets, or excuse me, a power outlet and then two USB ports. Right here, power pedal adjustments, traction control on and off, your bed light, parking sensors, lane departure warning, and then your uh, downhill assist. Storage, more storage up here, and then two cup holders back here. In the middle, this is a wireless phone charger. So if you have, um, like a lot of the newer phones, the iPhone 10, I believe the iPhone 8 also has the same feature. So as a lot of Android phones, you can place it right there and it will wirelessly charge. And this is the same very nice cocoa leather. Inside of here, more storage, two more USB ports, an auxiliary in, and another power outlet. You have a storage pocket up front, as well as other different mounting points and things like that. Wood grain around here. And even more storage down here, you have another compartment. So there's plenty of places to put things in here. Up top, vanity mirror, lighting. In the middle, you have LED interior lighting as your garage home link, more controls for the lighting, and then a sunglasses container. We'll go ahead and step out, driver's side automatic window down, unlock everything, and pop the hood right here. Also your parking brake in typical GMC fashion, push on, push off. Go ahead and step into the back seat. And despite this being the smaller cab, I'm still 6'2 and can comfortably sit behind myself. Also, these running boards make entry and exit very easy. But this seat's further back than I would sit. I mean, obviously not for long road trips or anything, but I can sit back here. That's more realistic on legroom, and I can sit there perfectly fine, but it's a comfortable place to be. The same leather follows through. It's very nice with the perforations in the middle. You have storage, more storage, the power outlet, back seat pockets on each side, and then this one also does have a power sliding uh, rear window right there. More interior lighting. And even the door panels in the rear, all the materials follow through with the padded leather, padded stitched leather, and then you have uh, the wood grain. Handles right here to make getting in and out a lot easier. And typical of most newer pickup trucks, this is soft open and close, so you can let it completely drop down. Just like that, once again. Like I said, the bed is lined. It is a plastic liner, but it's in great shape. You have different tie downs and things like that on it. And the tailgate's nice and light as well. You can see I can lift it up while holding the camera. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. These seats too can also just fold up and out of the way. I mean, having the smaller back seat, I feel like that's what a majority of the people that buy these are going to do because you get an awesome amount of storage with them folded up. And very simple, they just drop back down. Once again, you can see I can do it while holding the camera. Passenger side, this one does have a power passenger seat. Everything follows through over here with the leather heated and cooled seat. You have storage up here, and then your glove box down below. This one has all the original owner's literature. Pretty much everything from when it was new included, your state inspection certificate. But up front, you can see the projector, HID headlights, LED fog lights, and LED daytime running lights. And under the hood, 
This one does have the 5.3 liter V8. Everything under here is in great shape. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. And headlights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.